It's different because like I take care of her a lot. Sometimes I don't want people to know that my mom has MS because I want people to treat me normally. That is 10-year-old Sienna Ball. It's the video that uh, she helped make to help uh, people understand the challenges of living with a loved one who has multiple sclerosis. Now, in this case, she's talking about her mother, Kim, a Colorado native, a Cherry Creek High School grad, and both Kim and Sienna are here with us this morning. It's good to meet you, Sienna. Uh, Kim and I had a chance to uh, spend some time together. Kim Posey joined us at the Rocky Mountain MS Gala back in September. But you live in Paris now. Yes, we do. And uh, you made that video to help people understand a little bit about living with MS. So I'll ask you first, Sienna. This is all you. This is the mom you've always known, right? Yeah. CC's had MS since you were born. Uh -huh. So when you made the video, what were you trying to express to people? Let them know. Well, sometimes I, when my mom has MS, it's kind of hard because like I feel like the mother in the family. Right. You know, and it's kind of like like she still takes care of me a lot. Mm -hmm. You know, like she's still my mom, but I feel like sometimes. It's not that like I'm different, but like other kids, they are used to having their mom, like maybe go to the grocery store for them, right. or walk them to school, or maybe like help them with their lunch, stuff like that. I basically I help her with that. Right. Like I go to the store for her, I make her lunch, I you know. But then I have my dad, so he helps sure. her a lot too. So. Kim, what about the evolution you see in her? When, you know how she's grown into this role. It's, um, you know, it's really interesting because when she was a baby, we didn't have that, um, that natural mother-daughter um, bonding mm -hmm. because my left side is paralyzed um, from multiple sclerosis. So I couldn't hold Sienna like most moms would hold their child. And we had to start making communication and bonding through our eyes. Right. And once that started happening, our relationship got so close and I just shared with her very honestly about what I was going through and sometimes I would explain it in a way that maybe sounded too complicated at the time but in reality she took all of that in and she's grown to be such a mature young lady and she certainly is incredibly <laughs> courageous but both of you share not only with each other but with others now about the, the message yeah. trying to help people I think understand MS. It's difficult for some people who may not be directly affected by it to understand what, what that life is like and, and what people can do to help. That's true. And I was very fortunate to be asked by the Rocky Mountain MS Center here in Colorado uh, last September to be the keynote speaker. And when they asked me what I might want to share, I immediately thought there's Multiple sclerosis is a difficult uh, neurological disease to understand. Mm -hmm. Even myself, I've had it for 20 some years. Um, I'm still learning every day, but once I had a child, she, in, in such a, a, a precious way, simplified the illness for me. And she also made me feel more courageous and more strong about taking the challenge of what MS brings to you um, on a daily basis. She made me take it on in a much more strong, courageous way. Well, you refer to it. As, yeah, you refer to it as a strength, something you wouldn't go uh, back and change necessarily. Yeah. You know, I um, I, f I feel very blessed my entire life. Uh, I think God has given me everything I've asked for. For so for maybe in some weird way, I asked for multiple sclerosis because there's no question that it's enriched my life and that it's given me empathy and understanding and anything I can do from an advocacy standpoint, I'm so happy to be involved with the Rocky Mountain MS Center because um, not only are they, and I'm very much a local of, of Colorado even though I live abroad, right. but they are, they are a center of excellence that I think they're, in terms of uh, patients that do deal with multiple sclerosis in Colorado, they are servicing probably more than half of them, and um, but they are a global they are a global influence as well, and so to be in Paris and have the contact with They're the sure. Rocky Mountain MS Center is and, uh, very liberating. And now your big challenge, of course, is being a stage mom. Big, yeah. Sienna. <laughs> yeah. Sienna's pretty comfortable here on TV. Yeah, she's doing she a lot is. of singing and theater work and. 
the film work, so you have to you have to help her with that, right? You know, I do very little. <laughs> I, mostly I sit back and just watch in awe. Well, we're glad you're back in town for, for a visit Thank for the holidays. You. I hope you guys had a great Christmas here. I know Too. you're heading back we, to Paris soon. We had a great also, Christmas. Also want to thank your husband and, and your father-in-law, Tom and Tom, for, for coming by yeah. this morning, getting up early. <laughs> Sianna, it's great to meet you. Nice we'll, to meet we'll you. We'll hope to see you again soon. Thanks, Kim, Tom. thanks for coming back to Colorado, thank you. visiting thank with us you. here on Daybreak. Uh, the Rocky Mountain MS Center, uh, we do have a link uh, on, at kwgn.com if you'd like to make a donation or learn more. So please uh, check out the Rocky Mountain MS Center. All right, Kim? All right, good to see both of them. Coming up on Daybreak this